FC Dallas is an American professional soccer club based in the Dallas suburb of Frisco, Texas which competes in Major League Soccer. It is one of the ten charter clubs of MLS, having competed in the league since its inception, and was known as Dallas Burn prior to the 2005 season. Dallas plays its home games at the 20,295 capacity soccer-specific Toyota Stadium, where they have played since changing their name in 2005. The team is owned by MLS investor Clark Hunt, who also owns the National Football League's Kansas City Chiefs. Dallas's most recent head coach was former Southern Methodist University coach Shellis Hindman, who stepped down from FC Dallas at the end of the 2013 season. The club hired Oscar Parija, a former player, as its new head coach on January 10, 2014. History, the Dallas Burn Era, 1996 a Euro 2004, on April 14, 1996, the Dallas Burn defeated the San Jose Clash in a shootout win in front of a crowd of 27,779 fans at the Cotton Bowl. The Burn with Jason Creus and coach Dave Durr, would become one of MLS's better teams as they used a mid-season five-game winning streak to earn their first playoff berth with a record of 17 a Euro 15. In the playoffs, the Burn would be defeated by the Kansas City Wiz in three games. The Burn started the season with mixed results. Late in the season they used a four-game winning streak to make the playoffs. They ended their season with a .500 record of 16 a Euro 16. In the playoffs, the Burn defeated and swept the Los Angeles Galaxy without conceding a goal. But in the next round, they would be defeated by the Colorado Rapids. The Burn would win their first and only U.S. Open Cup by defeating the MLS Cup champion DC United. In their third season, at the start of the middle of the season the Burn would struggle. Despite a poor record of 15 a Euro 17, the Burn would qualify for their third straight playoff berth. In the playoffs, the Galaxy swept and defeated the Burn in the first round. By June 1999, the Burn were in the middle of a pack of the Western Conference standings with a record of 5 a Euro 5. With Jason Creus breakout year, the Burn would climb to second place at the end of the season with a record of 19 a Euro 13. In the playoffs, the Burn defeated the defending champions Chicago Fire. In the Western Conference final, they would be defeated by the Galaxy and eliminated. After coming within one game of MLS Cup, the Burn were ready to start the season with the Cup in mind. The club started the season well, but in the middle of the spring and summer, they were struggling and made the playoffs third in the realigned Central Division and the sixth seed in the league standings with a record of 14 a Euro 14 a Euro 6. In the playoffs, the Burn seemed to struggle again as the Metro Stars swept them in two games. At the end of the season, coach Dave Doe would be terminated and replaced by Mike Jeffries. In their first season under Mike Jeffries in 2001, the Burn would continue to play mediocre soccer and finish the season 10 a Euro 11 a Euro 5, after the final weekend was cut short as a result of the September 11 attacks. In the playoffs as the seventh seed team, the Burn would disappoint again, as they lost in three games to the Chicago Fire. The Burn had a much better season from start to finish in 2002. Jason Creus would continue to lead the club as they finished with a 12 a Euro 9 a Euro 7 record, their best in three years and they earned the fifth seed in the playoffs. In the playoffs, the Colorado Rapids defeated the Burn on a series tie-breaking goal by Mark Chung in Game 3. The Burn started 2003 playing in South Lake, Texas in Dragon Stadium. The Burn would struggle and suffer through a rough season. Mike Jeffries was fired in September and replaced by Colin Clark as the Burn finished the season with a record of 6 a Euro 19 a Euro 5, missing the playoffs for the first time in club history. 2004 saw a one-year return to the Cotton Bowl, and the team's final year being known as the Dallas Burn. The club carried over some of their frustrations from the previous year. By late July, the Burn would be back in the playoff run, but it would not be enough as they again missed the playoffs for the second year with a disappointing 10 a Euro 14 a Euro 6 season. In August, club owner Lamar Hunt announced that the club, in 2005, would be rebranded and would be known as FC Dallas to coincide with their new soccer-specific stadium in Frisco, Texas. 
the FC Dallas era, 2005 a Euro present. With the acquisition of Carlos Ruiz, FC Dallas would have a great start to the 2005 season, losing only two of their first 17 games. On August 6, FC Dallas played their inaugural game at Pizza Hut Park and tied the Metro Stars, to a Euro 2. In the middle of the season the club started to struggle and they went on a six-game winless streak. As the playoffs neared they went on a three-game winning streak. That streak helped them into the playoffs as the second seed in the West with a record of 13 a Euro 10 a Euro 9. FC Dallas was matched against the Colorado Rapids in the playoffs. The teams would play a scoreless draw in the first game. After playing to a 1 a Euro 1 tie in regulation time, the two teams were level again, 2 a Euro 2, after the first overtime. In the shootout, the Rapids outscored and defeated FC Dallas, 5 a Euro 4 on penalties. FC Dallas again started the 2006 season well. In their first full season at Pizza Hut Park, Carlos Ruiz led the season with 13 goals, helping his team to a 16 a Euro 12 a Euro 4 record and the top seed in the Western Conference. In the playoffs, they struggled as they were again defeated in penalties by the Colorado Rapids. FC Dallas were on the top spot in the Western Conference for much of the first half of 2007, winning six of their first ten matches. In the second half of the season, though, FC Dallas started to struggle and were in a decline, as they only won five games after the All-Star break, going into postseason with a record of 13 a Euro 12 a Euro 5 for third in the Western Conference. In the playoffs, FC Dallas lost for a Euro 2 on aggregate to Houston Dynamo. FC Dallas, stumbled from the start of the 2008 season, and slipped to the bottom of the Western Conference standings, which led to the firing of coach Steve Morrow. The club hired Charles Hindman to replace Steve Morrow, they would showed some signs of improvement, but they would never recover as they missed the playoffs while finishing in fifth place with a record of 8 a Euro 10 a Euro 12. They missed the playoffs again in 2009 and their record was mediocre at best. FC Dallas was despicable on the road, losing 10 games, third worst in MLS. The club was first in goals in favor, but second to last in goals against. The team played well, but that more often than not did not translate into wins. FC Dallas had one of the most consistent seasons in 2010, losing just four games while advancing all the way to the MLS Cup Championship. Midfielder David Ferreira entered the season as a relative unknown, but ended the season as the league's MVP. Goalkeeper Kevin Hartman was a knee injury away from Goalkeeper of the Year and coach Charles Hindman, after a couple challenging seasons as head coach, won MLS Coach of the Year. In the playoffs, FC Dallas advanced to the Western Conference Finals for the second time, and defeated the Los Angeles Galaxy 3 a Euro 0 at the Home Depot Center, thus advancing to its first MLS Cup Final against the Colorado Rapids. FC Dallas lost the match by a score of 2 a Euro 1, after overtime. The 2011 campaign saw reigning MVP David Ferreira go down with an ankle injury, in a 2 a Euro 1 victory against the Vancouver Whitecaps FC. Despite the loss, FC Dallas continued to have much success. BREK Shear led the way and took over the scoring load left behind by David Ferreira. FC Dallas was the first team in the 2011 MLS season to reach 10 wins. The 2011 MLS season also saw FC Dallas advance past the third round of the 2011 Lamar Hunt US Open Cup with a 3 Euro 2 victory over Orlando City SC. With a victory FC Dallas advanced to the quarterfinals where they beat Real Salt Lake 2 a Euro 0. On August 17, FC Dallas became the first MLS club to defeat a Mexican team in Mexico, beating UNAM 1 a Euro 0 in the CONCACAF Champions League. FC Dallas saw their 2011 season come to an end when they lost to the New York Red Bulls in a wild card playoff match. FC Dallas started the 2012 MLS season with a 2-1 victory over the New York Red Bulls at FC Dallas Stadium, the two goals come from Zach Lloyd and Ricardo Villa respectively. The team finished the 2012 season with a record of September 13-12 and missed out on playoffs.
the 2013 team started well, going 8-2-3 in its first 13 matches of the season before finishing the season with a November 12-11 record and missing playoffs for the second consecutive season. Upon the conclusion of the 2013 season, Shellas Hindman resigned as coach of FC Dallas. FC Dallas opened the Oscar Parija era and the 2014 season with a 3-2 victory against the Montreal Impact in front of 18,011 fans at Toyota Stadium on March 8, 2014. Colors and Badge Originally, Dallas Burn played in a predominantly red and black color scheme, and had a logo which featured a fire-breathing black horse beneath a stylized red burn wordmark. The team rebranded as FC Dallas in 2005 to coincide with their move to Pizza Hut Park, and has since played in a color scheme of red, blue, silver, and white, and a kit design of horizontally hooped stripes. Kit Evolution, as Dallas Burn 1996-2004, FC Dallas 2005 Present, Home, Away, Third Special, Stadium. Cotton Bowl. Dallas, Texas, Dragon Stadium. South Lake, Texas, Toyota Stadium. Frisco, Texas, from 1996 a Euro 2002 the team played in the 92,100 capacity Cotton Bowl in Dallas. In an effort to save money due to the club's unfavorable lease with the Cotton Bowl, the club played its 2003 home games at Dragon Stadium, a high school stadium in South Lake, a Fort Worth suburb. After listening to its fans, the Dallas Burn as the team was called from 1996 a Euro 2004, moved back to the Cotton Bowl for the 2004 season. Another factor to the move was the money that the club was losing due to the fact that there could be no alcohol sales at a public high school. In August 2005, the club moved into Toyota Stadium, a soccer-specific stadium in the northern suburb of Frisco. Club Culture Supporters FC Dallas has many supporters groups. During the 2012 season, memberships to these groups started to rise and they all became synergetic during match days. On these days, the Inferno, the DBG, the Red Shamrock and the DFE congregate in the north end of FC Dallas Stadium to form what is now known as North End United for FC Dallas. They each remain as their own independent entity. Yet together they are one voice with one passion and one love for FC Dallas. Their mission is simple to promote the sport, increase the love for their club, and grow the supporters base within each of their groups. Rivalries FC Dallas' main rival is the Houston Dynamo. In 2005, the San Jose Earthquakes were put on hold and the team's assets were reinvented in Houston as the Houston Dynamo, sparking an interstate rivalry with the new Houston club. The two teams play for El Capitan, a cannon that goes to the regular season victor. FC Dallas' oldest rivalry is with their Eastern Conference rival, the Chicago Fire. Since 2001, the two clubs have competed for the Brimstone Cup, which goes to the team that wins the season series between the two teams. However, due to the teams having moved to different conferences after formally competing alongside each other in the Central Division, the rivalry has waned in recent years. Recently, Animosity grew between fans and players of FC Dallas and the Colorado Rapids, mainly sparking from Colorado players' comments towards the fans and Colorado's victories over FC Dallas in the 2005 and 2006 MLS Cup playoffs. This rivalry was once again renewed in the 2010 MLS Cup championship match. Played in Toronto, FC Dallas fell to a Euro 1 to the Rapids after extra time. Song the team anthem is called H-O-O-P-S Yes, and is performed by Choral Symphonic Rock Group and Dallas Natives The Polyphonic Spree. International Affiliations FC Dallas is formally associated with Mexican Primera División Cube Den Club Tigres de la UANL and Club Atla Copyright Tico Paranaense of Brasilia Euro Unregistered Trademark S Campeonato Brasileiro Zar Copyright Rye Sponsorship, on June 27, 2012. FC Dallas reached a three-year sponsorship deal with Advocare, a Plano-based health and wellness company, worth $7.5 million. US dollars. Advocare became the official jersey sponsor.
In September 2013 FC Dallas reached a long-term deal with Toyota to be official stadium naming rights partners, broadcasting. FC Dallas's matches appeared on regional television on Fox Sports Southwest, KTXA and WFAA and several games are televised nationally on NBC Sports and NBC Sports Network until the 2012 season. On February 25, 2013, FC Dallas signed a deal with Time Warner Cable to air most of its games on the Time Warner Cable Sports Channel in Dallas, replacing Fox Sports Southwest as the primary broadcaster of games. In 2012, Dallas Mavericks play-by-play -play announcer Mark Follower and former Houston Dynamo announcer Jonathan Yardley split play-by-play -play duties, replacing the late Bobby Ryan. Former Mills players Brian Dunseth, Ian Joy, and Dante Washington rotate doing color commentary. In 2013, Bob Storm replaced Yardley and Steve Jolly returned to the broadcast team, splitting color commentary duties with Dante Washington and Brian Dunseth. The TV audio is also simulcast on the ticket which also broadcasts nationally televised games involving FC Dallas. ESPN Deports carries Spanish language broadcasts. Carlos Alvarado and Giza Espadilla do Spanish play-by-play -play and color, respectively. Players and staff, current roster, as of July 29, 2014. Out on loan, notable former players. This list of former players includes those who received international caps while playing for the team, made significant contributions to the team in terms of appearances or goals while playing for the team, or who made significant contributions to the sport either before they played for the team, or after they left. It is clearly not yet complete and all-inclusive, and additions and refinements will continue to be made over time. See also all-time FC Dallas roster, team management, manager. Oscar Parija, assistant manager, Jose Copyright Mara Bazan, assistant manager, Brent Irwin, assistant manager, Marco Ferrazzi, goalkeeping coach, Drew Kieschen, athletic trainer, Joshua Watts, technical director, Fernando Clavijo, head coaches, Dave Durr, Mike Jeffries, Colin Clark, Colin Clark, Steve Morrow, Steve Morrow, Marco Ferrazzi, Shalas Hindman, Oscar Parijo Honors Mills Cup, Runners Up, 2010. MLS Supporters Shield, Runners Up, 2006. MLS Western Conference, Winners, 2006, Winners, 2010, Runners Up, 1996, 1999, 2005, Runners Up, 1997, 1999. Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup, Winners, 1997, Runners up, 2005, 2007. Minor trophies, Brimstone Cup, 2002, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2010, 2011, Texas Derby, 2008, 2010, 2013, 2014, Lamar Hunt Pioneer Cup, 2010, 2011, Walt Disney World Pro Soccer Classic, 2011. Record. Year by year, year by year stats. Note, MLS did not allow ties prior to the 2000 season as games were decided by shootout when tied at full time. International competition, 1998 CONCACAF Cup Winners' Cup. Group Stage V. Nikakes in a Euro 1 4, Group Stage V. Cruz Azul a Euro 1 2. 2004 La Manga Cup. Group Stage V. Odd Grenland a Euro 1 2, Group Stage V. Dynamo Kiv a Euro 2 2, Semi Finals V. Starbuck A Euro 2 1, Fifth Place Match V. Boda Slash Glimt a Euro 1 3. 2007 North American Superliga. Group Stage V. Guadalajara a Euro 1 1, Group Stage V. Pacuca a Euro 1 1, Group Stage V. Los Angeles Galaxy a Euro 5 6. 2011 a Euro 12 CONCACAF Champions League. Preliminary Round V. Alianza a Euro 2 0, Group Stage V. UNAM a Euro 1 0, Group Stage V. Toronto FC a Euro 1 0, Group Stage V. Toro FC a Euro 1 1, Group Stage V. 
UNAM Euro 02, Group Stage B. Toro FC Euro 35, Group Stage B. Toronto FC Euro 03. See also Johnny Stark, References. External links, Official Website.